All right, before we get into the video, I just want to remind you that these tests were performed in a very controlled scientific testing environment with all necessary safety precautions taken. And uh, thank you. Let's get on with the video. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another epic all original video. Today, I'm going to be making a plane. A lot of you probably don't know this about me, but this past summer, I actually started training for my pilot's license. And so I do know how to fly a plane. And last spring, I spent about two months trying to make an RC plane fly. And uh, I got it on the 12th attempt. So this year, I'm going to do something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Make an actual full-size plane that can carry me. Let's just dive right into building this thing now. Alright guys, as you can see here, I finished the plane. It looks awesome. Um, this is shrink wrap on the wings if you're wondering what it is. And then I've got tape over it. Um, it looks really nice. And I've got it on its cart. So I'll, I'll show you how this works now. So basically, come back here, right? We've got the tail. This is made of foam wood, reinforced with uh, uh, rulers. The, the tail is secured um, using these ropes. And the whole thing is put together using pins. like. Literally almost just pins, a few screws, but mostly just pins, so that I can transport it out here and then build it. The right hand stick is the, uh, the elevator control, left hand stick is rudder control. Um, this is a two axis plane, so there's no roll control. Um, I'm just going to use the, um, the uh, yaw as roll because I got the wings bent. So now this is up, this is down, and then this is right left and then basically what i've got here right when i'm going down the hill i've got my steering um on the hill because you know i can't steer with the plane when i'm going down the hill and then if i want to stop got my brake here it's gonna jam onto the ground and it's gonna bring this thing to a screeching halt so yeah i'm gonna take down on the street now Before I show you the final clips, I just want to remind you that last year, when I was trying to get my RC airplanes to fly, it took me two months and 12 models before I got to one that worked. Now, uh, this result after this first test is pretty solid for this type of airplane and the uh, wing design that I made. But um, due to the airplane being damaged by a gust of wind after this test, I'm not going to be able to carry out any more experiments. I modeled this airplane directly after my first successful RC plane, increasing its dimensions by 5 times to give it a wingspan of 25 feet and a length of 15 feet. However, even though it was modeled directly after my first successful RC plane, because, I mean, I'm not the best at making wings. Okay, we're here in Harrison's mobile laboratory. Hey. Harrison, can you tell us what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I'm making more wing. Uh, there was a few minor defects in the wings, which caused the airplane to uh, not produce as much lift as I originally had thought it would. Therefore, it did not take off the cart, but it was very close. As you can see in the GoPro video, the wings are trying to pull up, but just don't have enough lift to get the airplane off the cart with me in it. Without further ado, I'll roll the clips of me testing it.
All right, guys, so as you can see there, it's, it came so close to working. It started to lift up, but um, it just didn't have didn't have enough lift. I think the wings are a little bit too wonky for this. Uh, but in the GoPro video, you can see that the wings lift up and they almost get it off the cart. I pulled the pin out just the right time and I had some nice braking. Um, the tail kind of got a little bit wobbly with that wind and you can see that the wings were flexing a lot, but the tail stayed together and it was able to control itself on the ground and it almost got into the air. So I'm gonna call this a partial success because you could see that it was close to taking off. Uh, I don't think in hindsight with this wingspan that I was ever gonna be able to get it off the ground completely. I probably should have done 40 foot wingspan instead of 24. But um, if I ever do this again, I'll do 40 foot. Same cockpit, tail, everything. Cause everything worked really well. It's just that I don't think I had enough lift. So um, yeah, I guess you guys should probably check out my other videos. And I've got some other epic content coming out soon, so be sure to stick around and um, consider subscribing. Yeah, I'll see you on the next epic all original video. Should be good. See you there.